love tribe welcome welcome to sarita's intuitive love guidance i'm going to be doing the daily divine masculine see what is going on with our masculines today let's spy on them <laughs> so what's the major energies of how divine masculine is feeling wow okay sheesh okay divine masculines what is going on so there's obviously an energy here of a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, feminine energy with a 10 of wands. Could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with a seven of wands. I feel there was an ending with a 10 of wands that someone is fighting and trying to keep this connection or union or relationship. I don't think it's over. You may feel like it's over Divine Femmes, but it's not over. The masculine is in an energy of trying to fight. And maybe they feel very defensive, but they are an energy of trying to come forward and fight because oof, look at this. Five of Pentacles, feeling a little broken, feeling a little left out in the cold. With a five of wands energy, struggling, fighting internally, externally in trying to manifest this connection in figuring things out they do still want this connection but there's still a struggle with a king of pentacles energy could be a taurus virgo capricorn i do feel this masculine could be trying to get their finances straight trying to stay grounded in a situation trying to end a cycle whether that's a third party or a cycle with you, but there's a big major ending in their life at the moment that they're trying to remain strong. Could be a Leo. That I feel like they are holding back. I feel this is a could be a Pisces energy, but um, there's some fear, some anxiety that they're trying to work through because I feel like there's some communication that they're wanting to come in with a swords energy. Could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, doesn't have to be. But I feel like their head's in the clouds of how to come forward and talk to you. And if they have been trying, I feel like they've um, been left out in the cold by you or vice versa. With the four wands, they're trying to regain some kind of balance and getting a, a reunion with you. Um, trying to make this work. I do feel like maybe they're trying, they're wanting to meet up. But maybe someone just got married or in a committed relationship or vice versa. Don't want you to get married with nobody else. And they want stability and balance. It's like the 1111 card. But they're unsure of how to come in and communicate. I feel like they are struggling with that. Jeez, that was a lot of energy that just flew out. So what else is going on with the masculines on how they are feeling towards divine femmes? Magical mindset. Everything is divine. Know that you are the creator of your reality. Co-manifest with the universe. And we have emotional intimacy. Healing relationships with self, inner child, precedes successful relationship. Love is energy. Love is the highest vibration. And we have this, we should have this magical mindset because the universe is so abundant. And I speak that all the time, how abundant the universe is. We just don't get what we want because we have that lack mentality. We have a scarcity mindset and you can co-create with the universe. You just have to believe in it. You have to have those childlike eyes and see the miracles. You know, ask what you want. It's the squeaky wheel that gets the grease, okay? So to know that you can have whatever you want it's just you have to believe it in order to achieve it i know that sounds very cheesy but it starts with self-love and i feel like this masculine sees the real deal of who you are they see your light divan femmes they see that you are a total keeper they see how authentic you are and they know you are a good choice they know that this will be a healthy love but if this masculine lacks the emotional maturity and intimacy to heal themselves and get out of this external internal conflict within and get out of this scarcity lack mindset um, and manifest the life that they want, um, they can do that. It's just they need to get this emotional intimacy and love themselves um, and love themselves. 
what else is going on with divine masculines on how they are feeling towards the divine femme spirit i wanted to flip over happiness wholeness overjoyed smiling Ooh, and magnetic unexplainable pull unexplainable pull and can't resist I just got light heart let it down. When I said oof, it, it literally, I felt like either in a daze, I was about to pass out. So something may be going on with the masculine's um, balance. They're off balance. Um, maybe the pull of the, the desire is there. Maybe they're not feeling very well because they're on survival mode, trying to survive. Whew. That literally felt like it just knocked the wind out of me. Um, but this magnetic desire, and I don't know if maybe that's your energy, Divine Femmes or the Masculines, but they see the happiness, they see the wholeness in you, and they can't resist it. They want that. And some of these Masculines may be trying to survive financially, trying to survive without you, and they're struggling. And they're trying to make ends meet. They're stuck on this hamster wheel of karmic lessons that they need to learn and need to get off of it. And seeing your healing and feeling your energy helps them pull them out. Gives them hope. What else is going on with the masculines? Oof, that one flipped over. Yeah, there's a lot of emotions. I feel like there's this pressure here that they are just wanting... To come forward. I feel like these emotions is causing a lot of rage. They're ready to explode. Maybe they're dealing with a third party situation that is causing a lot of pressure on them emotionally. Like anxiety. Maybe the pressure cooker is with you Divine Femmes. That they have all these waves of emotions that you're not answering them. They're not getting what they want. And it's causing a lot of pressure. Some of these masculines are dealing with a legal situation some kind of court paperwork filed marriage divorce separation maybe just maybe an apartment um contract i don't know what this legal energy is maybe a dui tickets i'm not sure speeding tickets that they just really want to come forward and express their feelings and they are able to what is this pressure cooker energy about? Yeah. <laughs> the silence. The non-action. I feel like you not responding or there's no t communication between you and the masculine. It's causing them to really want to come forward and communicate or figure something out how to communicate. Um, some of these masculines are going to trap you maybe. Um, with a money situation, pull on your heartstrings, make you feel guilty. Maybe the masculine's in a third-party situation with an entrapment. Maybe because of the kids, a financial restraint, um, marriage, something is here that's not allowing this masculine to come forward. And it's causing a lot of pressure, a lot of stress and anxiety for the masculine. What's going on with the masculine's shadow energy spirit? Reunion, someone is returning, and I do feel that there is an energy here of someone trying to get reunion. Um, there is a third party, another energy in the mix. It could be their own pride and ego. It could be another person, mother, father, family situation. But do know that there's going to be a reunion coming for someone. Some It could be in the spring, maybe the summer. What else is going on with the masculines? Fear of the unknown. So... We have insecurity here. And with this energy here, they're struggling with embracing uncertainty of the lack of clarity of maybe their future, lack of clarity with you. They're dealing with some insecurities of themselves. Could be just a lot of numerous things that they're dealing with. And they may not be responding to you or you might not be responding to them. So it causes, like, I get a lot of anxiety at this moment. 
what's this anxiety I'm feeling, Spirit? What is this anxiety that I'm feeling from the masculine? It's like they're not doing very well. Long journey ahead. Look, guys, the Oregon Trail. I feel like I never could master or get to completion with the Oregon Trail because I feel like one person dies. They're, um, they don't get enough food or water. Uh, and so it's a long journey and I feel like this masculine is feeling very depleted, feeling washed up and feels like they're getting nowhere with you divine femmes because of maybe you're not responding. Maybe there's a long journey in a third party situation that they're feeling very exhausted and depleted. What else is going on with the masculines? Wow. Did, did you forget again that you always bounce back? And so this masculine could be um, very in and out. I feel that they see you getting your bounce back, Divine Femmes, and they're struggling um, with this situation. Some of these masculines are struggling to get a bounce back with you and getting things together with you again because maybe you're ignoring them. Maybe they're having a hard time getting bounce back in their just current environment. But it's like you already know this. You know, with this eight ball. And you know this. And this is something that you intuitively know. And it's just confirmation. Let's see what the Divine Masculine's emotions are towards Divine Femmes. Ooh, that flew out. I'm afraid of opening up my heart again. Open. Someone's initials could be YKK. Start with a YKK. I do feel like there's a heart in clouds. Clouds represent... Um, a lack of clarity, uncertainty, unable to see things clearly. And they want to open up um, because they want to show you more of the depths of them. They want to give you more of them. And maybe they're having a hard time being able to do that um, because the struggle of trying to get through to you may be hard. Maybe leaving a third party may be hard. Um, what is Divine Masculine's block, Spirit? What is Divine Masculine's block? Their blocks is, wow, if that's not the Masculine's. Their blocks is their toxic patterns. Their blocks is not being open to receive your love or being receptive to love fully. I feel like they don't know how to fully open up and break those chains that holds them down. They, Their blocks is getting stability and harmony and balance. And just in their love life in general. Even in with you or their current environment. What's the possible outcome with Divine Masculines and Divine Femmes? Freedom. I do feel like the possible outcome is you're going to get your freedom. I feel like there's going to be karma. There's going to be justice that's going to be served. There's going to be balance. So whatever answers you're looking for, Divine Femmes, do know that you're going to get that justice. You're going to get that balance. You just got to trust in the Divine when they're going to bring that. So in the meantime, get that freedom. Work on your self-love. Take leaps of faith. Uh -uh. So what other advice do you have for the Divine Femmes? Building blocks. So use this time of rest and quietness and stillness if you're not hearing from the masculines or meditation for you to rebuild yourself, to rebuild this connection. I do feel like it takes um, a stronger foundation and this is, gives me the tower energy vibes of maybe things needed to crumble and break down in order for things to be rebuilt. Um, and have a course correction that will bring more of a solid foundation. But that requires you to rebuild yourself first um, in order to be firm and planted. So I feel like with this energy, just take a break. You don't need to work. Need to worry about what's the future, what's next. Be in the presence, be in the now. Trust your intuition with this moon energy. Take a break. And what other advice do we have for the Divine Femmes who are watching this? What advice do you have for the Divine Femmes who are watching this? 
What advice do you have for the divine friends who are watching this? Oof. Bat spirit. A rebirth is assured. So five represents changes. And we have groundhog spirit. Time to let go. Time to let go of what's next. The outcome. The future. I feel like we hold on to the future when tomorrow is not promised. So be in the present. Do know that um, it's time to surrender to the divine, to detach from an outcome. Enjoy the journey, not the destination. I feel like we get so attached to a destination when I just keep hearing tomorrow's not promise. So be in the now. Stop and smell the roses. This is a situation for your highest good. But do know freedom is yours. Look at 3 3. You know, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit is here with you. The Ascended Masters are here with you. And so do know this is a rebirth for you. This is a transition for you um, that's going to help you open up to self. I feel like you found yourself more in this separation. That's why I keep hearing you found yourself more. All right, guys. Well, much love.